Hello everyone. Uh, last year I made a video on how to change your capacitor on your uh, AC unit, how to test it, how to find out if it's faulty and how to remove it and replace it. And inside that video I also noted that you need to discharge the capacitor by uh, shorting it out with a screwdriver uh, across the common t uh, from the common terminal to the herm and to the uh, fan side if you have a dual run uh, capacitor like I do right here. This is a dual run capacitor and but I didn't show people how to do that and the safe way to you know basically the safe procedure for doing so. So basically um, I've got my replacement or my spare here and I've charged it up with 110 volts just to show you how much uh, charge these things hold and uh, actually this one is a 440 to 370 volt uh, capacitor so it could store that much and it is a 70 uh, microfarad and 7.5 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor. Again, like I said, it's dual run, so it has three terminals. Uh, regular run capacitor only has two terminals, but you short it out, short it out the two terminals that you have. So uh, basically, what I wanted to tell you is that you have you should treat you should treat these capacitors, even the new one you get from your. Uh, supplier as a live device. You never know. Maybe somebody returned it after installing it and charged it up and it still has a charge on it. So, you know, you need to be very safety conscious of these things and basically treat this device as a live device. So, here we're looking at the top of the device and you see that there's three separate terminals. Uh, there's a C for common uh, right there and there's a fan and there's Herm. And what we're going to do, you're going to do is you're going to short uh, using a screwdriver between the common and the herm terminal and the common and the fan terminal and I would do both of them twice just to make sure that you've got it discharged correctly and I'll show you the correct procedure for doing that uh, next but basically that's going to be the procedure so I'm going to uh, zoom this back out a little bit and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using an insulated screwdriver and this is a standard insulated screwdriver nothing really fancy about it uh, it has an insulated uh, handle. Now make sure, triple sure, that the handle is not broken anywhere and that the metal from the screwdriver is not sticking out the back or anywhere else where it can make contact with your hand. You will be wearing gloves anyway, but regardless, uh, make sure it's insulated so you don't get you know, a shock through the handle. So again, standard screwdriver, insulated handle, good condition, no cracks anywhere. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using to short it. A uh, pair of gloves, these are uh, your standard work gloves, and a pair of safety glasses as well. So I'm covering all bases on safety here. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, short between the uh, common and the fan uh, terminal, and then I'm going to short between the common and the herm for, uh, terminal, and I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what that looks like when it happens. I'm going to put my glasses on here, and I'm going to put my gloves on here and I'm not going to touch the capacitor with anything but the screwdriver. I uh, might as well limit the amount of your body touching that capacitor and here's the screwdriver and we're going to uh, short the uh, fan and the, the uh, common first. Again making sure that your hand is not touching the metal anywhere. Your hand, your hand your, even in the glove, make sure your, your fingers aren't on the blade or any part of the, of the screwdriver that's metal. Okay, so where I'm just holding the insulated handle. So here we go. You heard that? That's a pretty big shock there. Okay, so let me do it again. Just to double check that it's discharged, and it is. Next, we're going to do the Herm side here. And you'll see that also go off here. Again, my hand is on the insulated part of the screwdriver wearing gloves and safety equipment. So here we go. That was a little bit more uh, powerful than the uh, Herms, the uh, fan side now, wasn't it? Now, so, so you can see how a fully charged uh, capacitor uh, can store a lot of energy. So you need to be very, very careful uh, when you handle these uh, uh, capacitors, the one on your, on your uh, uh, AC unit, as well as the one that you get receive in the, in the mail or wherever, however you got it, because you never know if the capacitor has actually been charged up or not. So, Treat all these terminals as live until you discharge them. And then after you've done discharging them once, do it one more time just to be safe. You never know. There might be some residual in there. 
There we go. And now your capacitor is discharged and safe and, and uh, won't hurt you at all. So you saw how much energy is stored in, in, in this capacitor. Be very, very careful with these things. Uh, I would suggest doing this procedure uh, on your capacitor on the AC unit before you remove the capacitor uh, and also uh, making sure and triply sure that you've uh, you know disconnected all power going to your uh, AC unit and uh, you know that there's no uh, basically uh, no electricity going to any of the, the components that you're going to short so again procedure from common to herm short it from common to fan short it and that will discharge the capacitor as you saw a second ago. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.